Hey guys, it's Luke and Susan here with the Outdoor Gear Review and for this episode we're hopping on the AT, the Appalachian Trail in Virginia. We're gonna hope to catch an awesome sunset. This is an evening hike and uh, we're gonna have some dinner, watch the sunset and have a good time. Let's go. Guys, gals, it is great to be back on the AT once more. And of course, it is awesome having Susie here with us. Hi, Susie. <laughs> All right, so it is roughly seven o'clock in the afternoon, in the evening. The sun is on its way to going down. It's windy, feels amazing. It's not all that cold. So we started at Mills Gap here on the Blue Ridge Parkway, hopped on the AT. How far are we hiking? I don't know. Susie, do you know? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> we are essentially hiking until we find the perfect spot to watch the sun go down. Now with this section of the AT, it essentially follows the Blue Ridge Parkway, so there may be some vehicles driving by, sorry about that, but that's life. Susie and I have been out here in Virginia for two days, non-stop hiking. We've shot three adventures for you all to share. Hope you guys enjoy them. Don't touch that. Our adventures here in Virginia have essentially amounted to hiking nonstop every single day and we've had an awesome time. We came to this area, the Bedford area, a couple of years back and there were so many trails that we wanted to explore that we wanted to essentially record videos on. So Susie and I, we had a little bit of time, decided to come out here, film some videos and that's exactly what we've been doing. What has been the best part of our adventures recently. I think the best part has been the weather. <laughs> it's amazing. Right, because last week it was in the 90s here. So that was one of the first things that a lot of the through hikers were talking to us about. They were experiencing really high temps around in this area. We met some people that weren't necessarily through hiking, but section hiking. And we met some people that lived around here doing some day hikes and everyone was saying it was miserably hot <laughs> last week. Where we live in the mountains of North Carolina, it has definitely been hot. So this is a welcome change. Woo, feels good. Now Susie and I, we love filming these little short hikes because these can give people a good idea to begin planning their own adventures from. With this part of the Appalachian Trail, you can easily stem off of it and make gigantic loops and do some crazy backpacking adventures. And that's one of the biggest attraction points for this area is that there are so many trails. You have the Jefferson National Forest. I mean, the options are limitless, really. So Luke was talking a little bit about what we've been doing in Virginia, basically just trail hopping as much as we possibly can for the few days we were here. So my question for you guys is what is your favorite short trail that you've done recently? Put it in the comments, send us an email. I'm just curious to hear what you guys consider some favorites. I hear something big in the woods over here, guys. Might be a bear. You stay there, love. All right. Yep, hi. <laughs> I'm not going to spook it. <laughs> Let it carry on with its dinner. Now when it comes to your outdoor adventures, some of the best adventures are those where you grab your pack in the afternoon and you head out for a couple of hours. Just like we're doing here. This is going to be pretty short, sweet. We are going to watch the sun go down, enjoy each other's company. Susie, what's for dinner? We are having a sandwich. Sandwich. Can't get any simpler than that. No, you can't. And let me tell you, everyone, I'm ready for something really plain Jane and boring. That roach coach sandwich has really messed me up. <laughs> <laughs> Three days of just like feeling ugh, not so hot. Let me show you all exactly what we're doing here. Essentially, we are hiking right on top of the spine of this mountain range. So on one side, you have this. 
And then on the other side, you have this. So you all could see how beautiful this is. The mountains here in this area, they are awesome. So our next overlook is something called Boblet's Gap. Sounds gross. So my question for you all is, what is a boblet? Comment down below. If you have no idea, make it funny. Of course, I know. Not really, no idea. Let's ask Google what a boblet is. What is a boblet? I found these results. It is the location of the family cemetery for Will Boblet. Oh. Ah. It's somebody's name. Gotcha. I was kind of hoping that it was something else. Yeah. Something weird. I'm pretty sure I had a friend in high school that I should have called Boblet. <laughs> no disrespect, Will Boblet, in your family. With my buddies and I, we all have nicknames for each other and definitely did in high school. I had a couple of nicknames. One was Slick. The other was Doctor of Style. Probably because I had the worst style of all time. Did you have any nicknames in high school? I did not. No? Did not. Must be a guy thing. These rocks are awesome. One funny thing about this is that you can tell there's been a ton of through hikers coming through. You can see all of the uh, trekking pole punches in the ground, hundreds of them. Do, 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 do. So we are now on a forest road for a little bit. Sometimes you can access them and actually drive on them if you want to. That is not always an easy thing to do because stuff like this. Sometimes they're locked with gates. Sometimes they're open. Some areas are open at specific times of the year. It really is up to the forest service. It looks like the sky is about to go peach colored. It's beautiful. Hmm, somebody made a mistake, did they not? Do you guys see anything wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> they got it right on this side. Oh, did they? Yeah. I bet they put up these signs, and they looked at one, and they're like, yeah, that looks good. And they looked at the other side, and they're like, God, Bob, <laughs> you had one job to do. One. <laughs> okay, so change of plans, everybody. We were hoping to find another overlook. There was one, but the view was on the wrong side of the road. So we have a little bit of time here. We are actually backtracking, going back to the previous overlook, which is less than a mile away. We will have dinner there and enjoy the awesome view. I love stuff like this, everybody. This is what makes life interesting. You go too far, you don't know where the overlook's at, you're trying to watch the sunset. So what do you do? You turn around, you go fast, and right there you have an experience, a memory, that you will remember forever. Susie and I are on the AT, hauling butt to watch the sunset. Hey Susie. Hey, we made it. We made it. Yes. Yes. The whole sky is like a peach color, and it is windy. It feels amazing. Yeah. 
after running through the woods for you all. <laughs> all right, so we have some barbecue chips of some sort. We have a turkey and provolone. Then we have a ham and Swiss. You think it's going to suck? <laughs> So when it comes to the sunset, I mean, it's very pretty up here, but I think the sun may disappear. Yeah. There's a good possibility. We shall see. But I tell you what, this is a cool place. It is a cool, cool place spot. to watch the sunset. Yeah. I mean, all the vehicles driving by, they're probably wondering to themselves, like, what are they doing? <laughs> Where did they come from? They're like those poor people on the side of the road. All right, Susie, it's all on you. All right, ready? Big and dry, I bet. That's not bad. Yeah? Mm. That bread is thick. That is some thick bread. So our sun has basically disappeared behind the clouds or the haze or whatever it is that we're looking at. And that's okay. Still beautiful, nice and chilly up here. Mm -hmm. I'm about to put my jacket on mm -hmm. after I take a bite out of this sandwich. Dig in. Look at the size of that bread. I know, but look at all the meat. Yeah. Yeah, you guys know I'm not a huge bread fan, so I will feed the turkeys. Big, dry. We didn't bring enough water. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> Are you choking? <laughs> what are we going to do? We have an emergency. Somehow I lost the top of my sandwich. Oops. <laughs> no comment from her. I about choked. I can't talk. Bread's <laughs> lodged here. <laughs> we love our sandwiches. We're not ingrateful. I'm not in ingrate. I'm not either. I love it. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> I'm going to eat the whole thing. Yeah, you should eat all your chips too. I will. Every bite. Because they're spectacular. They're weird. Every bit of this meal sucks. I'm still thankful for it though. You know there's no food for 40 miles, right? <laughs> Pretty much. This is it. We made our decision. <laughs> yeah, we did. We're sticking to it. <laughs> so, um, good old Bob is back. Little Bobby, he's back. Bob, big orange ball. It's actually salmon colored. Salmon colored. Yeah, coral. Coral. Yeah. Neon. Yeah. Here in the South, people often say salmon mm -hmm. instead of salmon. That's how it goes. Just like pecan. Mm-hmm. Pecan. <laughs> oh my God, what did you do to me? I almost hit you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I should flag that car down for help. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Mm-hmm. I'm thankful. Here, finish it with one of these. <laughs> Well, everybody, we are going to finish this up. Enjoy the sunset. Well, everybody, the sun is going down. It's officially setting now. <coughs> it's just right above the horizon, starting to lick it. It's not that good. <laughs> it's not that good of a sunset, is it, Susie? <laughs> Oops, sometimes it's the adventure and not the end game. That's the best part of your adventure. And uh, this has been a lot of fun. It really has been. Do you realize you made me run, which made me sweat, so now I'm freezing? Yeah. All right. Do you want this? <laughs> no. Here. I'm wet. Susie, you can have my jacket. No, no, no. <laughs> no, honey, you're going to freeze. You're freezing to death. <laughs> I'm you're going to freeze. I'm cold, but I'm not freezing. You're going to freeze. You're freezing right before my eyes. Here you go. Put this on. <laughs> <Right here. laughs> no, I see chill bumps on you. Yeah, I'm cold, but it's okay. No, put it on. Thanks, babe. Sure, hon. It's the least I can do. I mean, 
Look where she's at right now. It's gonna be dark soon. She's going to be hiking in the dark. It's super cold and windy. Food sucked. <laughs> Sunset sucked. <laughs> hey. I think I'll go to the feet of the <laughs> That is how we have fun, everyone. Okay. Well, folks, this pretty much wraps up this adventure. The night has come. The sun is going down now. Yeah, that was interesting. That was fun. It'll be fun trekking back. And yeah. I mean, it probably won't be like pitch black. We got a little bit of light left. Yeah. yeah, but the sun is down. So thank you all for joining us for this, <laughs> Short. this cluster of an adventure. <laughs> it has been a ton of fun though. If you like it, hit the like button, of course. Subscribe if you want to. Support the channel through Patreon. We do appreciate it because the Outdoor Gear Review is 100% agenda-free. We don't sell products, no affiliate links, none of that nonsense. Oh, yeah. Until next time, everyone, take care, strength, and honor. Bye. Bye. How cold are you? Hmm. That's a seven. No. <laughs> That's a nine. Get your hands <laughs> off me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's like a 22. <laughs> God. What, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Do you remember that one time we went out hiking, chasing the sunset, and it was horrible, and our dinner was terrible? Oh, yeah, that one time. <laughs> We had to run to catch the sunset. Yeah, and that you got really soaking wet with sweat. Non-existent. Yeah. And that one time where we had those like really big, thick sandwiches. <laughs> Sounds really tasty. <laughs> Sounds really familiar. <laughs>